Hello my dear family members, today my friend Saurish Gupta who is working in Accenture is going to discuss an important algorithm that is Kadanese algorithm. This is very much important for any product based company or any service based company's interview and uh, this type of questions may arise in your exam. So please don't skip any moment and watch till the end. Okay, so let's start. So let's start. So the first question is the Kadanese algorithm. You can see that Kadanese algorithm and the difficulty is medium and point is 4. Question is the given an integer array ARR find the contiguous sub array containing at least one number that has the maximum sum and return its sum okay so the uh, means it means that there are suppose this is a, a array as for example the elements of the array is 1 2 3 minus 2 and 5 okay so what you need to do you can check that the explanation the output is 9 and the explanation is the maximum average sum is 9 of elements 1 2 3 minus 2 5 okay with which is a contiguous array. okay let's go to that one in the here I can show you that one okay okay let's check here so the elements are 1 2 I'm sorry <laughs> 1 2 3 minus 2 and 5 okay so what here they are doing if I do the summation of all the elements here 1 plus 2 2 1 plus 2 means uh, 3 3 plus 3 is 6 6 minus 2 is 4 and 4 plus 5 is 9 okay so if we check uh, minutely here the, then the 9 is here the maximum summation okay so if we take any sub array suppose like 1 and 2 the summation is th 3 or I can take through 2 plus 3 the summation is 5 or I take uh, if I take 3 minus 2 the summation is 1 if I take the minus 2 and 5 the summation is 3 but if I take the length of 3 the summation is 1 plus 2 plus 3 it's 6 2 plus 3 plus minus 2 it's 3 3 plus minus 2 plus 5 it's 6 okay so let's take for the uh, f length of 4 but uh, you will not get all the 4 here okay the 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus minus 2 the 2 and 2 will be cancelled out and uh, the 1 plus 3 is equal to 4 okay but here the 5 is left here so the for another sub array is the uh, summation is 5 but it's not of uh, length 4 okay so if I take the whole array it's also an sub array we can call it so if we check the uh, summation then uh, 1 plus 2 it's 3 3 plus 3 is 6 6 minus 2 is 4 4 plus 5 it's 9 okay so that and you can see that the summation is here is the maximum whatever we have calculated till now the summation of the, the sub is the in this uh, results the 9 is the max maximum so obviously that is the that is the answer so if I take another example suppose like it's minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and minus 4 so here the uh, speciality of this uh, example is like if we do the summation minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 the summation will be minus 3 minus 6 and minus 10 but uh, whenever you will add uh, every element with the summa uh, summation then uh, the uh, value of summation will be uh, the value of sum will be decreased one by one <coughs> okay so what we need to do here we need to in this case we need to check what is the maximum here so you can check that minus one minus one itself a sub array you can tell also that in this way that minus one itself a sub array so minus one is the maximum here so i can give the output as minus one okay and in the same uh, third case that like, 5 4 7 so 5 itself is average 4 itself is average and 7 itself is average so in this case uh, if we take each and every element one then means like uh, only take one element as average then the highest is 7 but 
that's not our uh, motto i need to check the server a contiguous server a containing at least one number okay that has maximum sum okay so we need to check as two also five plus four it's nine four plus seven it's eleven okay so in this way we will not be able to uh, get but if we uh, take three five plus four plus seven it will be sixteen so then the summation will be maximum we will get the maximum sum at a sum 16 okay so like in the first uh, example also if i take the length of 4 it's 1 plus 2 plus 3 uh, plus minus 2 the 2 and minus 2 will be cancelled or 1 plus 3 is 4 if i take 2 plus 3 plus minus 2 plus 5 then 2 and minus 2 will be cancelled or 3 plus 5 it will be 8 okay so it's no uh, it's less than 9 that's why i am taking this one we are taking this one okay so that's the thing here we need to do we need to check that uh, maximum uh, summation of the sub array okay so if you don't have the concept of sub array then the concept of sub array is like it you need to take uh, take in this way like uh, the sub array the array elements are uh, organized in this way 1 2 3 minus 2 minus 5 then obviously the sub array will be 1 2 3 minus 2 5 months means if we take only one then itself it's a sub array okay if we take one element in a sub array so there, there then there are five sub arrays are there if i take uh, element uh, two elements in a sub array if we want to take then 1 2 2 3 3 minus 2 minus 2 5 but we can't able no, no, we will not will be not able to take 2 1 or uh, like uh, 3 1 not in this way okay or 1 3 we can only take in this way 1 2 3 minus 2 minus 2 5 okay because we are taking sub array done this is uh, if we take in this way that 5 and uh, 1 and 3 1 and minus 2 1 and 5 or 1 3 minus 2 1 3 5 so there are lots of combinations will be there so then it, it will become sub sequence not sub array so that's the main concept here okay so now we need to check the uh, the maximum value okay the maximum summation of the survey so here is the code i have written in java so i am not sure that it, uh, there, uh, there is any modified uh, version of this logic you you can make or not make uh, as because uh, this is a standard uh, algorithm that the Kadanes algorithm you can try but uh, you can try okay so the solution is like I am taking a sum variable and initializing it is 0 and uh, taking a variable also res result and initializing it with the array I am taking here a not error okay uh, it's as per my uh, okay so a0 uh, res is equal to a0 and initializing the for loop int i is equal to 0 i less than a dot length i plus plus okay i'm simply doing the summation here sum is equal to sum plus ai and i'm checking here that if the sum greater than the race so whatever what i have uh, entered in the sum it's zero i have initialized and raise i have initialized a zero means the first element of the array okay so if the sum uh, value of sum is greater than is becomes greater than of the value of race then i will enter the means i will uh, assign the value of sum into a race okay and I'm, I will also check if sum is less than 0 then I will initialize sum as 0 again so suppose take this example again then it will be easier to me to make you understand okay okay uh, here I am not able to do that one okay uh, yeah I am able to do so the yeah so the thing is like the 
uh, elements in the array is minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 so if we do the summation then the summation will be okay then sum the summation will be minus of 10 and gradually it will increase if we do the sum of the every element here so in this case we need to check that if the value of sum is getting negative gradually increasing in negative thing negative so then means actually it, uh, it's it, it's actually actually decreasing so then we can do what we can do that we can initialize the sum variable with zero okay we can initialize the sum variable with zero because there is no point uh, of do the sum, uh, op summation operation and uh, the value of sum is gradually decreasing so there is a nothing logic is there so that's why we have whatever we have we will do we just initialize the value of sum is zero on that time okay that's the same thing i'm doing here but you can say the say that uh, check that here the maximum is so in this case we need to what we need to return we need to return that minus uh, that uh, maximum value here so the maximum is minus one so minus where we will uh, assign the minus one we will assign the minus one in the va value res so whenever the first summation will happen sum is equal to sum plus ai okay so then in on that time the value of sum will be minus one okay and it will check if sum greater than res no then it's okay actually minus one is not greater than two minus one simple logic is there and then there is a logic here if sum less than zero then we can assign sum is equal to zero so obviously minus one is less than zero so then we can assign sum as zero the same thing is we are doing here so sum is assigned to zero but in the value of res the value of res is minus one okay so after that the summation will be minus three so then sum greater than res no it's not satisfying so then it's not it will not go to in this if block so in this way the loop will goes and then the and uh, na, na, no value means in notice in not a single iteration the value of sum will be greater than of res for this example okay so the value of res will be remain same as minus one and it will return minus one but for this one for this one it will take a, so it will add keep on adding that one then two it will be three one okay so initially the value of res will be one then so the value of sum also one one greater than one it's not it will not happen and sum is greater than zero so it's it's not satisfying so again the loop goes and uh, one plus two it will be three and sum greater than is res race so then we will assign the value of sum into the race and the now right now the value of race will be three so in this way we will check and uh, after that three then one plus two plus three six again the value of race will be change then six minus two four in this case the value of race will be no will not uh, will will be not changed because the uh, value of sum is less than value of race okay and uh, it will not satisfy again after that four plus five nine so nine is again greater than race okay because is before that the value of race was six so nine is greater than six and the value of race will be changed and the ultimate rate the result will be nine okay so let's run this code again so there are 1120 test cases and every test cases has completed successfully okay okay so 
this is the coat are you preparing for accenture border roll skip the complicated stuff like dynamic programming and data structures focus on what really matters simple coding questions involving even sum subtraction and multiplication type questions our exclusive placement materials are all you need we have compiled real questions answers and mock tests from previous years and the latest exams with our prime resources you will be perfectly prepared to assay your interview as well so to experience the finest materials ever dm me at my study instagram.com/tech.tf you will get it in affordable price thank you